Hi guys. Today I will be discussing inflammation in detail. Definition. Inflammation is defined as the local response of living mammalian tissues to injury due to any agent. It is a body defense reaction in order to eliminate or limit the spread of injurious agent, followed by removal of the necrosed cells and tissues. The agents causing inflammation are as follows, infective agents like bacteria, viruses, and their toxins, fungi, parasites. Immunological agents like cell-mediated and antigen antibody reactions. Physical agents like heat, cold, radiation, mechanical trauma. Chemical agents like organic and inorganic poisons. Inert materials such as foreign bodies. Clinical signs of inflammation. Ruber means redness. Dilation of blood vessel in damaged area. Tumor means swelling. Accumulation of fluid in extracellular space. Extracellular space refers to the part of an organism outside the cells and occupied by fluid. The composition of the extracellular space includes metabolites, ions, proteins, and many other substances that might affect cellular function. Calor means heat. Due to increased blood flow to area. Do lower means pain. Stretching or distortion of tissue from edema, chemical mediators can induce pain. Edema is the medical term for swelling. Body parts swell from injury or inflammation. It can affect a small area or the entire body. Edema happens when your small blood vessels leak fluid into nearby tissues. Loss of function. Meaning movement hindered. Now, types of inflammation. There are two types. First, acute inflammation. Second, chronic inflammation. Acute inflammation. It is of short duration. And lasts less than two weeks. Represents the early body reaction, resolves quickly and is usually followed by healing. Features of acute inflammation are, accumulation of fluid and plasma at the affected site. Intravascular activation of platelets. Intravascular means which occurs within a vessel, especially within a blood vessel. Polymorphonuclear neutrophils as inflammatory cells. Polymorphonuclear neutrophils are the most abundant blood leukocytes. They provide the first line defense against infection and are potent effectors of inflammation. Acute inflammatory response by the host to any agent is a continuous process. It occurs in two events. Vascular events, and cellular events. Chronic inflammation. It is of longer duration and occurs after delay. Occurs either after the causative agent of acute inflammation persists for a long time, or the stimulus is such that it induces chronic inflammation from the beginning. Features of chronic inflammation, presence of chronic inflammatory cells such as, lymphocytes, plasma cells, and macrophages. Check out other pathophysiology videos. And subscribe to my channel. Thank you.